Welcome to the Riot Podcast, where it's always sunny and 75. Woo! It's Wednesday. It's nice. So, um, hi, everybody. Today in the podcast, we talk about... It's actually about... currently 71, by the way. Oh, so I, <laughs> I overstated? Hey, not by much, though. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's where we're at. Uh, in the podcast, we got a, it all starts with a text message about Oreos. Yes, it does. Come on. Uh, then we get into fair food, mattress stores, uh, bat... And a potential internship if you're still looking for something. Come think of it we got a couple of job options for you in this podcast yeah we do actually if you think about it uh we talk fair food funko pop cereal stuff that bugs you ninja tourism that's probably the best one right there now don't go for that job though because we have someone interested i think there's more than one opening <laughs> oh they're so, they're looking for more <laughs> i think you'd be okay with that plus commercial lab meat so you guys enjoy the podcast today. Uh, I'm just going to crawl up on the floor here, curl up Aww, and take a little and nap. And the little ball. Well, your bed's over there. I actually don't like to do that. I like to lay out flat. That's actually my preference. <laughs> One time someone saw you do that and they're like, is he okay? And I was like, listen, He's you fine. just close your eyes for a second. Just needs a minute. No one's sick. No one's too like, well, you're tired, but you know, it's just, you just sometimes you just need a minute. Just a little second to yourself. So you know what? You go ahead and take a minute. In fact, take the next 30 minutes with the riot. Why don't you just enjoy this podcast, lay out straight, flat out on the floor, and you'll have a good time. Sounds like a great <laughs> don't idea. Don't forget to join us, please, at Radio U Riot on Facebook. We post a lot of extra stuff there, including you can also listen to our podcast if you're normally just someone who's on Facebook. We post it every day. And Radio U Riot on YouTube. Subscribe and make sure you sign up to get notified for any interviews that we post, any Obadiah plays, and our podcast goes there, too. Hey, did you know we have haven't talked about this but as of like a day or two ago this podcast is now available on spotify it is yay so spotify uh, as well that's a cool thing so the riot podcast going where people are everywhere that's what we do <laughs> you guys have a great day and bye the riots is an award-winning morning show it's literally a medal for sucking out that is a medal for trying okay radio you I love when you guys just text us pictures of food. I do love that. Something very sweet about that. I want to say thank you to uh, Kayla. Kayla just sent us pictures of Halloween Oreos already on store shelves. Come on, guys. It's still Christmas in July. Well, okay. All right. (laughs) But, Nikki, think about this. If we celebrate Christmas in July, then maybe we should have had Halloween in June. Maybe. Maybe these are Juno-ween Oreos. And we've just been wrong. What do you think about that? Are those flavored ones or are they just uh, I, colored? I, I think they're just colored. Dude, I think you just cute. end up with the orange. The little orange. chocolate cookie has a little pumpkin on it. Mm. I want it to be fall, guys. I really do. No. I have a couple of sweatshirts and sweaters all ready to go. You know what's rough is like in order for us to get to fall, we have to have August. And you you know how I feel about August, right? August is pretty hot and pretty August, miserable. August is the January Ugh. of the summer. I know, but we can make it. We do every year. Because August, you've got no holidays, no days off. It is the hottest. And it's like classes are starting up again. At least for me, I seem to just have stacks of obligations I don't want to meet during the month of August. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like August. It's not a good month. <laughs> no, wait, someone said it's it's orange flavored, the Halloween ones. I don't think is that right? Maybe. Kay- Kayla says it's orange cream flavored, and mm. she's, you know, she's the one that texted us the picture. That sounds delicious. So, mm, and what are those cans of, in the background there, is that chili, you think? <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever. But hor- that, we don't care about chili as much as we do about Oreos. <laughs> what, well, how do you feel about an orange cream Oreo? That sounds good. I'd be <clears> down <throat> for that. You yeah. know what? Like this, though, I really just want this to taste like a standard Oreo. And I'd like to have a stack of them next to my cup of coffee right here and just eat them. I don't know if I've ever eaten Oreos with Wild Abandoned in my whole life. And <laughs> but you would like to. I watched somebody eat more than half of a bag of double stuffed Oreos the other day. And I was just like, man, you're my freaking hero. That person right has no care in the world with that. They're not just having a, a good time. Not a care in the world. <laughs> well, you guys can text us anytime you see something at the store or anywhere. Hey, we got to be ready. <laughs> anytime you'd like to, 877 radio U. And don't forget our Radio U Christmas in July channel. We host a channel with our Christmas music um, that's available through the end of this month at RadioU.com, our Roku channel, and our Radio U app. If you've never downloaded it, it is free for you to enjoy. And coming next year, a Junoween 
uh, special channel that we'll have to create. It'll it's be not, lo- it's gonna be very short. I think we have two songs that will fit in that. Love sick zombie over and over again. <laughs> Good times. The worst of the riot box set is now available nowhere because we know you wouldn't want it anyway. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. So I was just trash talking the month of August, but something that I do think we have to address is that August does see the return of college football. That's a great thing. I mean, it just barely makes it. I think it's August right 31st. Right at the end. Might be August 30th is when it starts. But You can te- still technically put it with the whole month of August. Technically, there is still college football that's going to be happening, which means if you're somebody like me and you can no longer mooch off of your parents, you have to start asking questions questions about how you're going to watch college football this fall. Uh, so I got excited because I saw that somebody was launching a new streaming sports service. Oh, yay! We don't Woo! have enough! Oh, my goodness. I'll so just we- sign up here and live the world of sports. So we can showcase all the games we did not want to see. Unfortunately... They don't carry any college football. Well, what are they carrying then? Okay, it's called... High school? No. It's called Dazen or Dazen, D-A-Z-N. They build themselves as the world's largest sports streamer. Is this gaming or... (laughs) No, 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 no. International sports? Uh, It's been available in Canada, Japan, and a few European countries. Is it cricket? Uh, No, it seems to be just boxing and MMA. Oh. Okay. So, but at 10 bucks a month. If you're into that, though. Well, but yeah, but like you can get ESPN Plus for $5 a month. Not that I do and not that I want to, but <laughs> you can. You're just saying. You can. I do for real, though. I'm going to have to figure out like end of August, do I go with like YouTube TV or something like that? Because for three months out of the year, I do carry some kind of a cable like service and I've never done I the last few years I've gotten it through the actual cable company. Mm-hmm. So this year I'm going to wander out into the weeds and find one of these streaming services. I think you services. need to pull the schedule up and kind of do a pros cons list right. towards the streaming services and see who can give you the most percentage of games and then you might have to just plan a party at someone else's house for the other ones. Yeah, there's always like there's that, always a couple of local that ga- weird sports network that is only carried through your local cable whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll do some digging, but it won't be this one. But they are making a big deal about the fact that this service is coming to the United States because just like World Cup soccer, apparently this is a big deal in other regions. Dazen? And it's only just now becoming available is in the United States. It? Is it? Dazen? 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 Since <laughs> like, it's boxing. Oh, I've been hit. I'm Dazen. That's what I thought. Yeah, maybe you're out like that. I'm both embarrassed and yet also I think that's it. So you get match, matchroom boxing, uh, something, world boxing super series, uh, shows, and other boxing stuff. Be- Bellator MMA. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, so you'll get to see the Anthony Joshua bout against Anthony Povetkin on September 22nd. Uh, they have 70 fights lined up with an average of at least one a week. Jeez. But, I mean, I guess if you're used to paying a pay-per-view. Then it's not much. Price, it's not that much, really. That's like the WWE app. You pay, like, I want to say it's like four, anywhere between 40 and $70 for a pay-per-view from WWE or $10 a month for their app. And you get the pay-per-views if you get the app. So, I don't know, man. But Sports hey, brings in the money. Sports does bring in the money. They're even going to get some of mine. Dang it. <laughs> Which is why they're pretty tight on making sure that uh, not everybody gets everything. And you just have to spend your money on all these little companies and we're big gonna, companies. I don't need to put that in the highest tier. <laughs> that is not a part of the normal channel lineup, Obi. That's it, uh, crazy. All the way up here. You're going to need to buy uh, the second and third digital tier. Yeah, they can have it. <laughs> Worst of the riot, not enough. Not enough. Check the blog and all things Riot at riot.radiou.com. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, yesterday the CW announced that they are in development of a Batwoman TV show. (laughs) Batwoman? All right, CW. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hey, CW, I've got an idea. Just something to take in mind. All right. Like, how about a Batman show? How about that? <laughs> the actual character you're looking at, you're for. Uh, like, what? But there's too much money in that. 
That's no, for movies that's right. only. No, they should have. They could do. Look, Nikki, they can do a Batman TV show and a Batman movie series. They can. Plus, so wait, what at, was Gotham then? Was that Batman? B- Batman when he was a boy. Yeah. So, but it's still Batman. He's like a side character. The real. It's supposed to really follow Gotham PD. So uh, it follows like Jim Gordon when sure. he's not commissioner. He's a lieutenant. Yeah. Hey. Well, again, there's too much money in Batman to water him down for a TV series. I continue to think, and this Batwoman TV show will show you that you could make a killer Batman TV show. At at television level prices, like TV production value has gotten high enough to be able to handle a but show like that. They just like want to protect that. I know you don't want to character. water down the brand. They mm-hmm. want you to go. Nikki's right. They want you to go see Batman at the movie theater, not at home every week. But they'll be happy to sell you a side character, and that's what you're go- always getting when it comes to TV. That's what you're getting. So a Batwoman TV show on the CW. Any talks on what the premise of the show will be, or what? Uh, I mean, if you've read the comics, it's going to follow the comic character. Uh, what's her name? Kane. Kate Kane, that's her name. And like her dad was like a military guy. And so she went military. But Batman, like she became, she become Batwoman. And then she hooked up with like Batman's team. Because Batman's got a whole team of Bat heroes now uh, that he's kind of at the head of. Um, at least that's been the the latest line of stories. And it, I'll have to say, the new run of Batman and Detective Comics that they've done since their DC relaunch is it's really good stuff. Like great characters, great ideas. I've I've read some, but not all of it. But I've been enjoying what I have read. Um, but so I mean, I've seen some Batwoman crossover, but I haven't been exactly a Batwoman reader. So will they keep her like at her uh, comic book age, or will like this is her trip in elementary school or middle school, or what are they doing? That's a legitimate question. It's a, it is a concern when it comes to the CW. There are not a lot of details that have. Uh, snuck out just yet but like, they basically here, just announced they're developing this, it this is her crime fighting time when she was in the womb <laughs> <laughs> that seems perfectly legitimate so i guess we'll get more details when they unveil that mm-hmm. so what do you got on the cw now you got the flash you got supergirl you got Black- riverdale that's not a superhero show. Oh, but yes. yeah. I just thought you meant like what's on it. Oh, yeah. No, I was talking superheroes, hey, but you know what? Superheroes are all different styles and shows and just super people. You know what? You're right. <laughs> it's and a comic you, book. You know what? Let's just stop there. I'm good with that. <laughs> Ever grab milk right out of the fridge to pour in your cereal only to realize that your stupid roommate left an empty carton in the fridge? That emptiness is nothing compared to how you're about to feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. I was just remarking to Nikki off air about how much I'd like to be in bed right now, <laughs> which is why I may be looking at changing jobs. <laughs> just because the morning thing doesn't work anymore. It doesn't seem to be, Nikki. Did you see what's going on at Mattress Firm? The what? mattress company or mm-hmm. is it a store? They're hiring a snooze turn this fall. An intern for snoozing? They say that you got to have two, three qualifications. You gotta be over Where's your your bell just to see can we can we pass all these qualifiers? All right. You gotta be over eighteen. Yeah. Okay. You have to be mildly proficient with some video editing software. We can do that. I can totally do that. I, I got iMovie. I mean, I might not be as good as Eric, but I can cut something up. We could, uh, if it cut, gets down to it, make something. And you have to be proficient at napping at all times of day. Do you remember last week when I took a two and a half hour nap and you went day like back to back two hour naps? I actually had, I didn't tell you, but because we didn't, you know, get back together Friday night, but I had three days. Three days of of naps? Two hour naps, yes. And I finally, I got, I finally got to the point where on Saturday I was like, you can't (laughs) nap. You're not supposed to on the weekend. You cannot nap. You have to stay awake. Well, I feel like we are way more than qualified for whatever this mattress company is trying to do. I took a one hour nap yesterday afternoon. I actually set an alarm. Just so you wouldn't keep sleeping. Man. Wow, you're really sleeping a lot. No, just in the afternoon. Okay, then not at night. Not at night when it counts. Yeah, but still the napping. Yeah, I could I could nap all night. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's my problem. But that makes me perfect for mattress firm. Now it's part time. Time, but it is a paid internship and uh you know i what's the cost of living like in texas that's where this is you know is it is it higher uh, i feel like it might be lower depending on where you're at in texas do you th- big well, state. do you think i could sleep at the store i mean 
that could really cut into a lot of my living expenses. If you don't have rent, then that's a lot better. You think about this. I go ahead, I get like a gym membership or a Y membership or something. That's where I can take my showers and mm-hmm. everything. If I can sleep at the office. Then that's your rent. I mean, that's most of my basic needs being covered right there. So what do they need you to do, though? I, I don't know. Whatever the heck an intern does at Mattress Firm. Or excuse me. Whatever a snooze turn does. Test and the they're, mattresses. They're getting so many applications for this. So many people are like, yeah. yeah. but this is like a fluff thing, It's guys. a gimmick. This it's, is a gimmick. Nikki, they're a mattress company. Of course it's a fluff thing. Well. <laughs> fluff is what they do. So, I mean, oh. it's perfect, really. Like, hey, Obi, are you napping on the job? And you're like, yes. sorry, sir. No, you haven't yet. It's like, <laughs> get in there. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry. It's just this mattress is so comfortable. I couldn't resist. It's like, get in there and take your nap. Have you taken your three-hour nap today, son? <laughs> and then you're not getting your pass for the day. I'm tired of seeing you working so hard. Mattress Firm's about taking it easy. Get on out there. If you want to be an intern and just be a part of the commercial guys for this company. I'm in, dude. Sign me up. I want a job where they're like, have you napped today? <laughs> then get in there. Now, for this, I mean, we get up very early in the morning. We could still, I don't feel like we should leave, but we could always switch. You know, we could do an afternoon show. Don't lie. We can move Hudson. Don't lie. I don't want to do evenings, but we can move Hudson. That's I, the uh, only other window. Afternoon sounds early great Early afternoon. And I don't want to do that fundraiser thing where they're like, do mornings and afternoons. <laughs> Just the one time. Just what you want <laughs> Oh, well, Tim, thank you for texting. Oh, I feel bad. He's quitting soda. He's going through some caffeine withdrawal. Uh, so he's got a head splitting, but he's still listening to us this morning. Well, Tim, go get yourself some uh, snooze turn. <laughs> Just get yourself a nap. Go over to the mattress firm and take a little nap. Tell him you're trying it out. Hey, Tim, you have my uh, like my sympathies. If you're giving up caffeine, this won't help. But if you're not... Get some coffee. Well, are you giving up soda, caffeine, or, or are you giving up, like, all? I don't know. That'd be a good question, Tim. You could still get something. Yeah, that a little caffeine would help with that headache. But if you're giving up caffeine. <laughs> it's like, Tim, we could fix it. Have a little coffee. <laughs> the riots. Apparently, some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. Radio U. I don't want to get too off in our personal lives. Sure. I have a personal question slash problem. Yes. Uh, I am going to the Ohio State Fair with a friend next week. and uh, That's me. Yeah. (laughs) And she recently has been going low carb. Yeah. And uh, I feel like there's a lot of potential for that interfering with our fair fun next week. I'm not going to have any, I already decided, I'm not going to have any deep fried desserts. Okay. So, no Oreos, no candy bar, no deep fried Snickers. I could do, well, I always like the deep fried veggies. That's just the thing I've always liked. Yeah, but like at this point, a deep fried veggie is not that far off from. I I haven't decided if I want to do that. I could do a turkey leg. I haven't had that for years. That used to be your go-to item. Years. I haven't had many. I mean, they're quite impressive. And I don't know if I ever remember if I can find one at the fair oh, where we're at. Trust me. We'll find you we one. We can look for one. I think we should do a Facebook Live that's just you eating a turkey leg. <laughs> just, how long does it take? Hang with Nikki. Watch her eat this turkey leg. Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. But don't have to make it weird. <laughs> Don't have to make I just it weird. Think by way of it, what it is is weird. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna be a real bummer next week with that. Dang it! You're just shaking your head, right? Well, the reason why two things happens. We One, always split them too. It, we do, and like if you're with somebody that's behaving themselves, you have a tendency to not be as adventurous. Sure. Because if two people are screwing around, you're like, let's go even farther. <laughs> Let's well, you, get five Buckeyes instead of three. We always would get a bucket of fries oh, and on. your bourbon chicken and usually a couple of deep fried, you know, items. desserty candy items. Yep. Um, so we'll just have to see maybe what's the new thing this year. I've got to have a deep fried Buckeye. Of course. I feel like the last couple of times that we have gotten bourbon chicken, I've it's made me sick. Like, I haven't felt really well. It's too sick? Like, you're not, you have to weigh the, like, like, the sickness level. Like, where are we talking? We can't come in the next day. Or are we too sick as in food poisoning? Or I, is let, it a roll of the dice, but it's still worth it? It's delicious. Let me put it to you this way. I think I'm going to skip the bourbon chicken this okay. year. I think I may go in for, I think the French, fr- French fries are a must. Yeah, the bucket. And we're talking about food we have to have at the fair next week. Uh, so I'm thinking fries are a must. I think I'm going to need, uh, a deep fried Buckeye, mm-hmm. which if you don't know, is a 
uh, it's peanut butter in a ball dipped in chocolate, then dipped in breading, then fried, then they put powdered, powdered sugar, sugar and, and then chocolate syrup chocolate on top. Chocolate drizzle on top. It's very yeah. important to have that. So all of that together. So I think those, I, did I mention the corn dog? I was thinking of corn dog. Yeah. Like okay, a the good, corn dog could be good. Like straight up, like real deep fried corn dog. Remember kind the of thing. stromboli? Yeah. There's something. one year I got real sick on the Stromboli. Yeah, I can't go back to it. And sometimes it's hard at the fair. You got to know, like, which which places have <laughs> been <laughs> maybe a few strikes against them yeah. in the uh, food hygiene category. <laughs> Radio U Circleville has something called the Pumpkin oh, Show. Oh, Jerome. That might be where I that might be where I go back. Yeah, to the bourbon chicken. Oh, uh, Jerome says maybe it's time for oh, a new friend. Come on. I try not to be weird with it. I'm still gonna be fun next week at the fair. I'm gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun as she's eating vegetables from the little baggie she brought with her. <laughs> Actually, yeah! yes, I will I will bring some stuff with me. You're right. Ooh. That's a great idea. And I'll share too. We're doing it together. Love it. <laughs> so fun. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll look and see if there's any other options. <laughs> That was the we- we'll that was a we'll see for sure, <laughs> for sure. Boo! The worst of the riot. It's like Lucky Charms, but no marshmallows. Radio, you breakfast cereal. There's a new cereal in town. There is. I don't understand how you and I missed this. Which this, one is it? It was announced July second, which means that we are two weeks and two days. Now that was right before we took a couple of days off for Fourth of July. Could it's have true. been we tuned out already. <laughs> totally could be. Totally could be. So Nikki, I would like to introduce to you Funko cereal. The like people, Funko Pop? The people that make Funko Pop, they got cereal now. Now, it's not really easy to get a hold of uh, because it's all retailer exclusive stuff. But I got to tell you right now, it looks amazing. So wait, are they selling this at the store or would you get it at like GameStop or something? Well, I've got a list of stores where it's available. Let's talk about the flavors. First off, there's Freddy Funko, which is just them. And you've got to buy it directly from them online. Then you've got Cuphead and Mugman Funko. Uh, cereal, which that's a game if you're not familiar with it. That's only available at GameStop. Uh-huh. Then you've got Freddy Krueger <laughs> Funkos. <laughs> oh, it's funny. And you've Is got it bright red. <laughs> yes, and you've got Jason Voorhees Funkos. Yeah, those are available at Fye. Uh, and then Mega Man Funkos and Gollum from Lord of the Rings Funkos. Those are, I believe, available at. Not at GameStop. Uh, Hot Topic. I think. Hot Topic. It looks so. like there's an Elvira's one. Uh, There's some random ones. Well, I haven't seen, I didn't see that one. Yeah, that one's one of the pictures. It looks like it's all the same O's, honestly. It's the same cereal, but different boxes. It's the same cereal, but different boxes and different colors. So, like, the Freddy Krueger ones are red, but, like, the Freddy Funko ones are just, like, a normal corn cereal sort of looking color. But, like, Mega Man is blue, Gollum is green, uh, and then they each come with little toys in there. So they look like little Funko Pops, but they're smaller than a normal Funko Pop. So I'm sorry. There's also a, did you say a He-Man, a Wonder Woman one? What? Where are you seeing? How come yeah. I don't see these? I'm on the Funko, I'm on their freaking <laughs> website and now I don't see it. Now this was, there, this was an earlier article stating what should be coming. So maybe some of them didn't actually make it all the way through. Man, I, like you're, the stuff that you're talking about right now, I don't see. I've only got six varieties here. And Cuphead, Freddy, Jason, Mega Man, Gollum, and uh, Freddy Funko, which is their, I guess, maybe their brand mascot or something. I don't know. So if you're into Funko Pops, you get a little toy in there. I I don't know that I want the cereal, but I'll have to admit, I kind of want one of the boxes. Yeah, like just to the, have. The boxes are cool. Yeah, look at that. Elvira's. But that Cuphead box is different, too. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'll have to look through that. Is this an old March 31st, 2018? Huh. I don't know. Like, I just don't understand how I've got my head and all this nerdy stuff all the time. How did we miss it? How did we miss this? Now, Nikki, what do you think, unless you've seen it already, a box of cereal like that is going to set you back? Um. Well, you're getting cereal. There's a lot of packaging on that that is... Uh... That's spending some money on that. Mm-hmm. And you get a little Funko Pop guy. So per box of cereal, I'm going to say, I'm going to say five ninety nine. 
I'm afraid we're going to need a little more than a that. A little bit more than that. Just a little uh, more. Nine ninety nine. Do you have a couple more dollars that you could throw in there? Twelve ninety nine. That's it. Is it twelve ninety nine? Yeah. Yay. They're cu- I've seen them for eleven ninety nine and twelve ninety nine. I've also seen them going for a hundred dollars on eBay. So. Really? I want the Cuphead one. Good, the Cuphead and Mugman. Good luck finding these out there somewhere. And then when you do, it's like you're going to want to buy two of them. One to actually eat and, and then one and to collect <laughs> so that you can put it on the shelf. Next to your Funko Pops, if you have those where you don't do anything with them. Staying strong, Nikki. I've got two <laughs> Funko Pops. That's, That's all. It. I know you could go crazy with those. I could easily go crazy. They keep coming out with things that They're I would love. always and we... deeply discounted as well if you just know where to look at. Yep. And uh, nope. Some some holes you don't you can't even dip your toe in that water. Now I understand that I. But what I ha- about your spoon in the bowl? That might be doable. Okay, maybe. If you see the any of the Funko Pop um, cereals, let us know. Wow. I know, I know. You hate the riot. Why are they on the radio? Stupid. Yeah. Honestly, we can't trust them with anything else. It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki, when's the last time you crowdfunded something or like, you know, um, backed something or whatever? Um, I usually, if I do back something now, it's like a GoFundMe for somebody. Sure, okay. Not a funding for a product or something. Okay, do you it's remember quite, what you did? It's been quite some time for that. So, but do you remember? Um, I think it was the the Veronica Mars movie. Okay. You remember that years ago? Yeah. I think it was that. So my question to you about it would be is that are you satisfied with what you got? Not like with, that the, you paid. with that one, yes. But then remember, I also did this backing of this. Uh, the Lockatron? Yeah, it was Is that like what it was called? Electronic Lock. And it was, again, back early in its days where now there's so many versions of it. And does that company still even exist? I had such a poor experience with that that it kept me from wanting to ever invest because you're investing in a startup company of sorts and you have a lot of risks. You might not ever get your item. Mm -hmm. Uh, It might take years and years and years. And it was such a problem that I'm really more interested in spending money on an established item. Okay. Now, with in the case of your Lockatron thing, you got your money back, right? Yeah, I got my money back. Okay. That's a rarity. That people who back something get their money back. Well, that funding was, it was funding, but yet it was still, it was a different side of funding where you, gosh, it was, I can't even remember, it was so long ago, but I was able to get my money back from how I paid. Like, I, it was funding, oh, but it was. so like you got it through an Amex thing It was or something like whatever. that. I was like, no, I, I want my money back. And that's how I got, some, you know, I got it returned. Well, I'm following a story here uh, from a guy who, I, you guys are probably haven't heard of this game called Star Citizen. It is the most, uh, we've talked about it before. It is the most highly funded video game crowdsourcing thing ever. It has brought in over $190 million. For a game. It was supposed to be ready in two years. Mm -hmm. They've been doing this for six years. It's like a scam. It It feels feels like like a scam. That's where it really gets annoying. So here's a guy who did the crowdfunding thing. He has given them, over the course of a couple of years, $4,500. Yeah. $4,500. So a guy is paying the company for this game, that's what he's invested in it. Yes. He decided he wanted a refund because they had a refund policy in place and he took them to court, sued them, and they won because uh, the company that runs Star Citizen. So he was trying to get his $4,500 back. In the middle of him giving money to this, they changed the terms of service Mm. and... They one of the things they put in the new terms of service was if you give money to this, you agree to this terms of service retroactively going back three that years. That is so shady. That is so unfair. Oh yeah, and, but and the judge was just like, "Hey, that's the, that's what they've done. You agreed to this. You agreed to it multiple times." You know, like that's why I feel like crowdfunding for companies. Now that one made a lot of money, and others still make a lot of money. But so many people are just too afraid to invest now because you've seen some of them go really bad. Yeah, that's, that's a wild. lot of money. Forty five hundred dollars, and you get you have nothing, <sighs> nothing from it. In fact, he spent more than that to take him to court. Uh, well, it sounds like maybe he did the filing on his own, so uh, maybe he would have well, done better if he would have a lawyer. To file. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're right. It actually does. So I don't know, but he did it, and he lost.
That's a bummer. Well, good try, man. Good yeah. try. Well, it just keeps me, like, I have my eye on it. I don't feel like people do crowdfunding as much or in the same way that they used to, but I still, I'm still looking. I've never crowdfunded anything over, I can't remember. I think the last thing I crowdfunded, and this has been like three or four years ago, mm-hmm. I gave House of Heroes money for their last album. Usually it's safe and to I, stick with. And I did with... it above it. Like, I didn't do, like, the bass line. I yeah. did a little more. It's safe to stick with music. It like, seems that, to work. That's, they're not asking you for $4,500. So yeah. That seems to be a safe one. Whereas the electronic side of things or the games, that can be a bit... Been expensive. I've never backed a. Vi- oh, you know what? I'd say I never backed a video game or a product, but I did do that one tablet stand product. You did, and you know what? That actually turned you still out. Still use it? Yep, still use it. Uh, I can't remember. It was like the T stand or something, but it was so you could put your iPad or whatever in it, and you could kind of like set it in front of you and watch a movie or something. And that that actually, I've traveled with it. That's that was a great purchase. That feeling when you hear that every school in the state is closed but yours? Now you know how we feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Everybody's different. Nikki's got stuff that she's afraid of that I am not afraid of. I've got stuff that I'm afraid of that Nikki's not afraid of. Or maybe even not fears, like, you know, stuff that bothers us. Yeah. So Nikki is really bothered by people yelling her name and pointing in public. Whereas if you did that to me, I just put both hands in the air and stand on he a would chair. Bask in it, uh, acknowledge it, Everyone love it. Everyone, look at me, <laughs> and I did I. I am a beautiful man. You just have that confidence. My gosh, I just—it's not confidence, Nikki. It's not caring. <laughs> it's not caring. True. I have, co- I have cultivated a mentality of not caring. I'm embarrassed, and you just did it in here. It's just bad. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm just like, whatever. Uh, yeah, if you ever just want to upset Nikki, just, don't start, do it. just start yelling at her in public. Don't. I don't like it. Please. And the funny thing about that is I love this about the way humanity works. If you start yelling at someone in public, they will not look at you. They always look at the person you're yelling at. <laughs> It's a shame. It always it works is a that shame. way. Because it's always like, <gasps> what's wrong with them? <laughs> they always assume it's victim shaming. It is. Like, that's what it is. It's totally what it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, But anyway, if you guys want to know something that, like, really bothers me, I money. I don't do well with money. I don't do well with negotiating. And anytime I have to spend a ton of money, oh, it, like, it really mess- bothers me. Oh, you. my gosh. It messes me up so badly so like even if i'm just paying bills it messes with me yesterday i had this thing that i had to pay for it was an adulting thing it was mostly unexpected it was very expensive and i like i did it and like last night and this morning i'm just like oh gosh oh my gosh oh gosh oh my gosh i'm freaked out about it and you know i would like to tell you that it's like oh but i thought my way out of it and it's fine no, I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been talking to God about it. Like, God, were you there when I gave that person all that money for that thing? Did you see? Oh, my gosh. I'm still freaking out. <laughs> and I talked to God about it. Now, again, for for you, you're like, oh, Diaz, so what? You had to pay for a thing. Everybody's going to pay for a thing. Grow up, you baby. <laughs> right? But there's something that you're doing that you're like, I can't believe that I had the thing and the people. And I'm like, grow up, you baby. But here's the great thing. Is that in a relationship with God, God is not like, grow up, you baby. He's there to help you. And maybe, okay, maybe he helps you grow up. Maybe it's something you're really afraid of. And with God's help, you know, you just kind of are able to get through it this time. And over time, it's not a big deal. Maybe it's something that bothers you every time. But every time, God's going to be there to hold your hand when you have to do it. That's what I love. God doesn't walk out on you. And even though I might call you a big baby and Nikki might call you a big baby, God will just be like, all right, kid, let's do this. He'll be there with you to help you. So, I again, I have no idea what your thing is. I know what mine is and some of mine are, but, like, I don't know yours. But I do know this. I know the person that wants to hold your hand while you do it. So invite Jesus into your life. God is not what you think. He's had some bad press. Get to know him for yourself. Just say, Jesus, I need that. I want you to come into my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I want you to be here with me. I want you to take my hand. Show me how to live. Here's the thing that I'm I'm having a hard time with. Talk to God about it. Let him in to help you out. Remember, if you can just make it through the rest of the riot, then you can probably make it through the rest of the week. 
and through the next several months. And then it'll practically be Christmas. The Riot on Radio U. We have for you a job offer in Japan called, it's in Iga. It's a city in Japan. Yeah. And it's basically known as the birthplace of the ninja. <laughs> What's the job? They say that they are suffering a severe ninja, ninja shortage. shortage. Oh, because no one has that desire to be a ninja anymore. Uh, apparently, once people get over the age of eight, they suddenly lose their desire to become a ninja. As a result, they have they, openings. The Japanese, basically the federal government, has been subsidizing IGA in yeah. offering more money for more ninja jobs. Now, it could also be, too, in Japan, they just have a very low birth rate as well. Like, okay. there, there's just not a lot of people having kids, so there's not a lot of people growing up there and then, you know, continuing in that tradition. So, IGA is a city of about 100,000, but at least 30,000 or more come to that city every year just for the ninja tourism, which is a thing. <laughs> you would love that. That is a thing. Like, the phrase ninja tourism is, something. is never a phrase that has ever entered my mind or crossed my lips, and it's a thing, guys. And it's important now you know that they're serious about it. They are absolutely serious about it. You can make up to $85,000 a year Being as a, a ninja? ninja. What do yeah. you do, though? Do you just, are you a ninja for, sh like, competitions or for the tourists when you come by? Do you do ninja stuff? It's uh, ninja tourism. But the thing is, they're not just looking for ninja posers. Anybody can be that. They want they're a real People that are trained. It's an art. In the arts of ninja arts. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> whatever Good whatever one. it's called. I don't know. Okay. Here, can it's I just say, sports. as, you know, the Quilo out here, here's what I thought. I thought that ninjas were considered culturally insensitive because I had a friend in high school, Japanese, yeah. that was furious every time he saw anything that was related to a ninja. Here, and how, though. How it was a huge misrepresentation of his culture. Ninjas were these terrible things, and they shouldn't be celebrated, and blah, blah, blah. So I just assumed that was, and there you go. Like, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have assumed that one person could speak for a whole culture. But, sure. like, I really honestly thought, like. But there it's their history and, and part of that, and one to be, he didn't you're like, a good ninja. He you're didn't not like a it bad at all. one. He didn't like it at all? He didn't like it at all. Well, it that was matter. just his thing, then. I guess it was just his thing. But, like, that makes me, you know, like, not. With that experience. You were always like, afraid with yeah, it. Yeah, we don't talk about ninjas. Well, now That's you can. You well, and you can get place. paid money for it. You can. It's never too late to train. Q training montage. Uh, <laughs> you know what, Nikki? Like, it, there might it might be too late to train. No, you could totally pick it up. You we talked about a few months ago about a hobby. <laughs> That's a hobby, and you can get paid for it. Nick is like, you know what? Have you considered a ninja hobby? You like, could get nunchucks and other ninja stuff, stars. Ninja stars, yeah. okay. And I, then in your office, we'll just be hearing, you know, banging and crashing as you, you train. My thing is, like, do you think that you would be willing to uh, finance Sponsor you my, as a yeah. ninja? Absolutely. You would? For a small monthly amount, I'm going to need others to help. But I want to send you to ninja school. You know, you got it, but you kind of have to imagine it's probably, like, not that expensive. To become think? a ninja? I, well, I mean, to become a real well, you ninja. Must, you must quit your job to dedicate yourself. Right. I mean, to become a real ninja, it probably is super expensive. But to become like the kind of ninja that I'll probably end up becoming. Uh, I bet you there's a YouTube video on it. We'll learn from there. Okay. We learn everything from YouTube. <laughs> I love the idea of like. Be a who, ninja in 20 minutes. Who trained you? Master you? Tube. <laughs> you don't say the tube part. You, just say you leave the tube you. part out. No master has, master no you has, trained me. No one has to know. Nobody has to know. I. <laughs> You might be onto something. Just don't say no and don't close the door to it, okay? 85000 a year. I don't know what the cost of living is like in Japan, but that seems pretty good. And they'll be like, oh, is that, that's the ninja walking by. You yeah, would be I, a person of, of reverence in that area. You think, oh, no, man. Then somebody would be like, we're going to mess with this ninja. <laughs> See what he actually knows? Dude, Put your training be, from Master oh, Youth. Oh, no. I'd be like Beverly Hills Ninja. Oh. Fat Chris Farley, you're fat, Obadiah. Look, you're Beverly. No, you will lose the weight if you train. The Riot. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Why else would they make us listen to the worst of the riot? Radio U. I'm looking here at a company called Moza Meat. 
Moza Meat is the Dutch firm that uh, what they say they did the world's first lab-grown beef burger. Oh, yeah. The one thing from, was it last year? Or? They say it was five years ago. Five years ago? And they say that they are three years away from mass producing meat meat so but that you lab grown so lab grown meat so that you will be able to go into a store and buy a burger they say that they are able to do it at a fairly low cost and that this burger like a patty would cost about a dollar mm. so i guess what's the the feeling behind it is then if you do not want it for animal destruction then right. this is not i mean it's probably original source makeup of it. Sure. But outside of that, I mean, you're, you're it's created, so it's not harming animals. Yeah, well, depending but with on... the meat's properties, so like it's it's health or it's nutrition. I don't know. Like I, they the argument or just the taste. Depending on how strict your rules are on or like where you're at on animal ethics, yeah. you could potentially refer to this as ethically sourced meat, beef. Yes. And so it is, as I understand it, on some level, cloned beef. So it would be like cow that you're cooking. And I, the big question, what you're asking, I think is probably the thing where it's like, uh, okay, so like what is its, what's its thing? Yeah. Like does it. Does it have, because some people, you know, maybe don't want to, like I don't necessarily want to eat beef, but if I feel like, oh, there are some nutritional benefits to some side of that, are you still getting that with this cloned beef? Mm -hmm. So. Here's how they do it. Tissue is taken from the animal, an animal muscle. Stem cells are extracted from the tissue. Mm -hmm. Muscles, muscle cells are grown under tension to bulk them up. The new muscle fibers are minced and turned into burgers. Hmm. Okay. It sounds. I still don't, don't quite like how it sounds. I here's my concern. Very, and it's very made. <laughs> I, I feel like the obvious low hanging fruit joke here is this is how the zombie apocalypse begins. Sure. Okay, so let's take that joke off the table. Here's my concern: is when you look at what cancer is mm -hmm. in the human body, this to me feels like something that there's. It, it makes me think of that. It makes me think like after ten years of us all eating this, and we're like, and now we've. You know, you've got cancer from yeah, whatever. Yeah, you still know. Um, but, I mean, keep in mind that I don't have a degree in these things. I don't know. Dr. Obadiah. You were just, a ninja. You're in training. I'm a ninja in training, not a doctor. <laughs> so I'm really not qualified to give a real opinion yeah, on this. Yeah, no, I, I get you. And, or at least not an educated opinion. I don't know as well. I guess that's a, that's a hold and that's a wait and see on if we'd be interested in that. Yeah. And it makes me wonder if we really are going to head this way. You know, like, is it going to be like all of those movies where in 100 years, we don't eat animals. We just grow our meat in a lab. It, it's different. Like in this part of the world, that might seem like an option. But then other parts of the world, they're like, no, we're going to eat bugs. Like we're going to eat, do this and do that as a more sustainable way of having protein and nutrition for people. It, it just depends on where you're at and where you're coming from. <sighs> OK, then here's the question, Nikki. Would mm -hmm. you rather have lab grown beef or bug flour? You'd have to ask me then and there. <laughs> and I might go bugs more than lab. They're like, Nikki, here is a <laughs> here's a cricket cookie. Yeah, or here a, is a lab burger. The lab stuff is a little worrisome, so I don't know. know. And and it's a cookie still. It's a cookie. It freaks me out just a little. Yeah, I'll have to decide then. This was the worst of the riots, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. Uh, apparently, once people get over the age of eight, they suddenly lose their desire to become a ninja.